Hi everybody, welcome back to Holly Harvest Farm. So we are out here today trying to help Poncho with his foot. He's been wrapped up for a couple of days. Uh, it's mm. We got Epsom salt and water. What else did you put in there? Uh, Benadine. Benadine solution to try to help out, try to clean out the wound and antiseptic. Um, it's looking sore. Let me, let me spin it around for you guys. Right, so, the so the abscess is in his hoof. It worked his way out down here. There was a little hole. The vet came in and dug it out more. So there's still some inside of here and in here. And the solution is supposed to help try to draw it out. Yeah, so we're gonna soak it for a couple minutes. It's super hot water for him. We got him hooked in here so he can't really go anywhere. No. Nope. He does not like putting his foot down a whole lot. Get in. Come on. And then we'll. There wrap him go. back Good up. Boy. Come on, I gotta put more water in. Like a football player. Let's try and get used to it. Give him hold. Yeah, you gotta put it down. Put it down. That's the soak. Mm-hmm. Being a real trooper. I don't know the horses cry, but <laughs> I think he would if he could. Yeah. There you go. Nope, put it down. Problem is Poncho tries to lay down when we do this. So he kind of takes all of his weight off. Come on. Hey, Poncho. So we're going to have him soak for about 10, 15 minutes. Honey's foot seems to be doing better. He's walking out. Oh, oh. okay. I got to go. All right. So now he's holding his foot still. He's locked in the bucket a little bit. Give him 10 minutes or so, and then we're going to wrap everything up. No, honey. Cody's not happy. And Honey, of course, has to come up and see what's going on. So now he's nosing around in the hay room while we got the door open. Just all sorts of fun stuff. But come back in a minute and we'll show you us wrapping up his foot to try to help him out. Because it's got a pad and all sorts of stuff Erica's got figured out for him. So we'll be back. All right, so Erica uses duct tape and makes a special little boot for him. It's a waterproof pad. Waterproof pad. That's the word that I yeah. thought of. This yep. is, she's she's had a couple a couple of mistakes on this one, but we got it going now. Good. And then you put plastic bag with that too, or no? I saw plastic on it. No, I just needed a work surface. No, I saw it looked like plastic. Oh, that is just the pad. No, I have a, a a pad here too. Oh, okay. I have this. Yeah. Oh, and that's the plastic that I had mm -hmm. seen. Oh, Cody's still mad. He was walked. I was told by a child. <laughs> so we're gonna make his cool Air Jordans, and hopefully he'll be getting around better. The boy punch. Let me see if I can be like a farrier. Ooh. Nope. <laughs> How do they do this? Where are you going? <laughs> I'm gonna fall over with him. Sorry, uh, Pancho. I can't do that. Hey. All right. So we've got the goop. I'm keeping Epsom. that in, by the way. No. <laughs> You're hopping around. So we got to do the goop. If I can get the goop to come out. Lots oh. of goop. We want it to go in there. And up at his frog, you want to cover the entire foot. This helps to draw out the abscess as well. And I have tape in my hand. Then, there's Jordan. cotton. Yep got cotton and his waterproof shoot duct tape pad I'm gonna do this right now I could have left longer pieces on to wrap it around up there but I didn't you're probably gonna have to turn the video foot? off you hold this I'll hold this foot oh. okay. so then I just have to tape it on at least he doesn't decide to lay down this is the tricky part because this is where it can be slippery and move. Let me just get that. Get my hand out of the way. There. And you have to make sure you don't pull it too tight because you don't want it to be like a tourniquet. So you only, the vet told me, you only stretch this at like 50%. So now we have enough to start it. And then. 
so that should stay for a second. I have this. Good boy, Ponge. And how long will this stay on? How long does this well, stay? Well, it's supposed cool. to be. <laughs> I should trim that. 24 to 48 hours. Okay. If it'll last that long. Yeah, we've come out to them hanging yeah, in there. Yeah, this has a bump on it. I don't like that. It should smush down now. What? I said we've come out to them in the pasture. It's getting all lumpy. I need you to hold his foot again. Yeah. Put your hands in the way so it doesn't really work. You have to hold his leg. Okay. Now you're dangerously under the horse. He's standing very patiently. He is. He hasn't just flopped over on us. Actually gonna come up around here, nice and loose, but enough to hold it on. Up around this ankle. You're gonna get kicked in the face. Okay, Punch, you can put it down. Put it down. Oh, it's a little weird, huh? He's got this. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah. There's a lump over there, but it's okay. That's good boy. Mm -hmm. Good job, Ponch. Yeah, good boy. We're hoping that hole heals up <laughs> soon. Good boy. All right, right Poncho. This one was all about you, buddy. All right, you want to tell everybody thanks for joining us? Why the long face? Hmm? Hmm? Tell everybody thanks for joining us, and we'll see you on the next, see you next week. Huh? It's okay, buddy. You're going to be okay. And his scratch is Yeah, his scratch better. is getting better, too. Yes, your Harry Potter scar. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we'll see everybody next week. Thanks for joining us. Bye. All right, so while we're making a horse foot update video, we'll include honey on this one. Uh, just real quick, we're going to check and see how Honey's doing. Hey, buddy. Hey, Honey. Let's see how his foot's doing. See if he needs to soak. No, you're going to try to run, huh? Is this it? Yeah, what's this side? Yep. Well, I'm going to have to clean it. His abscess came out up here, so the vet had to dig all this out, but I have to... Oh, I didn't even see the hoof pick you had in front of me. So, his feet need to be trimmed. Those of you that know that, we know that. <laughs> I understand. So, I don't want to poke around. Oh, yeah, that's still sore. We're gonna, we're gonna take him up and soak him. Let's see if. He's walking much better though. Yeah, you're okay, buddy. He was walking. No, don't run away. Oh. I have thing in my hand properly to throw it over oh, him. Look at him go. Bye, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't throw the lead rope over him. Look at him go. All right, we'll go soak his foot. Just do a soak of him. Dash is walking too. Dash has no hey, idea. Dash. Dash has no idea what's happening. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> honey, he's fine. Yep, he seems fine. <laughs> Compared to the way he was walking the other day, goodness gracious. Yeah. His shoulder was much better. Yeah. All right, so that's our horse update. Figured we'd do a quick little jump in here to see how Honey was doing. We'll soak his foot, but uh, he seems to be doing okay. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Bye.